U.S. firm General Electric has presented a proposal to India, offering to develop a new engine using its 116 kN F414 engine as a baseline, to power India's AMCA Mark II program, that will meet the crucial objectives of achieving supercruise capabilities and reduced thermal signature. General Electric has extended an offer to India to utilize their ceramic matrix composite engine core parts which require 20% less cooling air, and can also withstand higher temperatures, thus allowing the core to generate thrust exceeding 130 kN with the upgraded F414 core. The baseline 98 kN thrust F414 INS6 engine that has already been selected to power India's Tejas Mark II TED BF and AMCA Mark I, and India now has the option to select new engine with upgraded ceramic matrix composite enhanced core, that has the potential to surpass 130 kN of thrust. India and the United States have started discussions to develop multiple families of next-generation long-range precision-guided projectiles, that can be seamlessly used with existing 155mm artillery guns without any modifications. Concepts such as cannon-launched precision-guided munitions and extended-range hypervelocity projectiles are being considered for potential joint ventures and subsequent production. The advanced artillery rounds will have a range of over 100 km, and will be capable to effectively neutralize targets in environments with disrupted or jammed global positioning systems, thus eliminating the need for costly cruise missiles or multi-barrel rockets. New Space Research and Technologies Group is developing a military metaverse innovation framework that will result in a significant advancement in next-generation training capabilities of the Indian Air Force. The groundbreaking framework features high-fidelity virtual environment that offers an unparalleled level of realism, that allows pilots to practice complex maneuvers, formations and combat scenarios through the integration of next-generation technologies such as tactical artificial intelligence for both friendly and enemy assets. Ukraine has blacklisted 26 entities, including an Indian organization called NBC Bearings, for their alleged involvement in supporting Russia. NBC Bearings has said, that they supplied bearings to over 30 countries and for different segments including non-military applications, and bearings valued $12.3 million were exported to Russia in 2022. The scarcity of ball bearings had caused temporary production halts at Russia's major tank manufacturing and restoration factories in March 2022. <laughs> India is preparing to send a marching contingent including fighter jets to take part in the French National Day Parade, where Prime Minister Modi would be the guest of honor, a visit that will also mark the 25th anniversary of the Indo-French Strategic Partnership. France is likely to push for the sale of 90 Rafale fighter jets under a government-to-government -government deal, as well as local production of three more Calvary-class submarines with AIP system and higher indigenous content. <laughs> HAL management had assigned its transport aircraft division to develop a seaplane variant of Dornier 228 last year, that includes strengthening the fuselage midsection in case of hard landings at sea. However, the Indian Navy has not yet granted approval for this project. HAL management expects orders for 30 aircraft to come from the military and civilian sector, but experts have said, that the Canadian Twin Otter seaplane will be much cheaper, and are often preferred by Indian operators.